here's my dilemma. We don't have a white castle around here in the South. So I have come up with a couple of tricks to perfect the taste of the white castle in the privacy of your own home. Also at the very end of the video, uh, a question for you, you might be able to help me find out. Hey there, it's Bill Watts with barbecuetricks.com. How to make a white castle or a slider at home. And in fact, here in the Southeast, we've got crystal nearby, but uh, no white castles because it's primarily a Midwestern or Mid-Atlantic thing. So here's how I did it and uh, really used a pretty basic ground beef. I used 80-20 here. And the first step is to just roll it out thin because you're trying to make these pencil thin hamburgers. So here's the process I went through. And as I'm kind of rolling it thin, I'll just say White Castle was, I guess, founded back in 1921. So we're getting close to the 100th anniversary, which should be kind of fun. It was founded in Wichita, Kansas. And a guy named Walt Anderson partnered with a real estate guy, Edgar Billy Ingram, to make White Castle into a chain and started the brand. Now, I will say, I think White Castle is pretty widely available in like the frozen food section, even here, I'm, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. So that's not hard to find. And we also have a very similar version of White Castle. Uh, it's called Crystal in the Southern United States, even going up to Charlotte. But um, uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything similar out West. So hopefully this comes in useful. I flatten these things out to a you know, sheet pan sized thin sheet. And I really wasn't that precise either with this. So just eyeballing the, about the size of a slider. What is it? Uh, two and a half inches by two and a half inches or so. Cut it into these squares. And then the other thing that's kind of important is adding the vent holes in this. The Crystal Burgers, by the way, have a lot of little holes in it. But the White Castles are pretty specific. They've got five holes done just like this in each burger. And I think it's important because when you're going to cook this later, those little holes really let the steam through in the cooking process. So they'll let the steam go through the patty into the bun. And actually that, that steam makes it, gives it really that White Castle slider texture. Simple as that. Now, back in the day, I guess it was in the mid 80s, White Castle used to have a program where you could call a toll free number if you didn't have a White Castle nearby and actually order up frozen sliders delivered right to your doorstep. I guess they called it Hamburgers to Fly program, which I guess they could do again. But now most of the days, most places, they are available in the frozen food section. But uh, before there was, they had Hamburgers to Fly. One cool thing is if you wanted to do this for a group, you could do all these burgers in advance and just freeze them the night before. You could do a couple of sheet pans full and uh, freeze them for people to come by. So you could do all this, this part in advance and just make it a conversation starter. Now, this is not a White Castle thing. I just decided to make my own firecracker ketchup to spice it up a little bit because I like spicy. So here's what I did. I took some French dressing. I took some horseradish there and then took some salt. Made it even sweeter with some brown sugar, some cayenne pepper, or you could use Cajun seasoning. Some Worcestershire sauce which I like Lee and Perrin's because it actually has the anchovies. It's just the best tasting. I'd suggest using that. And then some ketchup. If you want the uh, official amounts and ingredients, head over to barbecuetricks.com and search out the uh, slider recipe here. Mix it up, heat it up, and uh, it's what I'm calling a firecracker ketchup. There's nothing that White Castle does that's like that. I just did it for fun. This is kind of the secret to making them taste like a White Castle. It's granulated onion, or I guess it's dehydrated onion. And you take about a half a cup, put it in some warm water and rehydrate those onions. And it can be kind of watery. And you're going to use that to steam the buns and the burger. I will say these aren't going to work on the actual grill. I guess it could, but it's not really going to be ideal for a grill or the barbecue. So I used a 
cast iron skillet to act as my cooktop. So you take the burgers and real easy, just put them in the freezer for half hour, an hour. Uh, the more frozen they are, the better. Then you're just going to break them up into individual. So you got the hot skillet and then you just take the onion mixture. All it is is rehydrated, granulated onion and let the steam start. Really, that steam is the secret to the flavor of the White Castle. And it pretty much matches the flavor of a crystal as well. Add a little salt and pepper. Added a lot of pepper there. No worries. And then the next very important step is the bun. And I didn't use, you'd think you could use a King's Hawaiian bun because it's the right size. Those are a little sweet. I found uh, a great brand that's probably just a regional brand. I'll put the brand name in my notes at barbecuetricks.com under slider. You can find it out. The real secret is letting the buns steam with that uh, steaming onion solution under the burger and letting them get, actually they get a little bit like, I'd say gooey or gummy. And that's really like the essence to me of the White Castle or even the crystal texture. You want cheese? Just use a processed cheese square. I got to cut it to the right size. And that's about all it takes. And the real secret is just using the granulated onion flakes that you can find in the grocery store. Just get the big jar of it. It'll seem a little weird using that much onion, but you're rehydrating it up. Then top it with just a squirt of cheap yellow mustard and one dill pickle slice. The world famous White Castle Burger, White Castle Slider, made at home. Or you can just buy them in the frozen food section. There you go. I appreciate you watching. And by the way, my question to you is if anybody knows who originated the term slider white castle actually trademarked slider with a y and used that in marketing in the late 80s to early 90s but who actually came up with the term slider if you know let me know in the comments and if you want to find out more about me i would love for you to head over to the website barbecuetricks.com click subscribe here at youtube first before you head there and then i've got a gift for you for uh, just visiting the website it's a free sauces and sides books all the great like barbecue sauces all the regional sauces white sauce uh, mustard sauce uh, vinegar sauce all that and some side recipes too that i just love a free ebook waiting for you just for stopping by and appreciate you watching it's at www.barbecuetricks.com